So we keep hearing the word refraction mentioned over and over whenever anyone presents evidence of a long distance photo. And from what I understand, refraction occurs when there's light. So I'm in Melbourne, Chelsea Beach again. And I'm going to zoom in to Frankston. It's only about five kilometers away. Seven, eight, something like that. It's one of the buildings in Frankston. This here, this light, you can see. It's one of the roads leading up the hill. I don't know what it's called. Frankston Danong Road, Frankston South Road, something like that. These are some cranes that are working on the railway projects in Melbourne where they're removing the railway crossings. It's quite amazing actually what's wrong way. I'll try and steady this thing down a bit somewhere. Okay, let me refocus. Wow, shooting star through the sky and I didn't film it. Get out of town! I just looked away for a moment and I saw a shooting star in the corner of my eye. Fantastic. Anyway, we could see lights that way. And as I said, that's seven kilometers. So I'll just walk across this deck that I'm on. Over there, that's interesting, that light. I didn't, I didn't pick that up. You can see the mirage effect. So what you're seeing is a duplicate of two lights, the one above, the one below. See what's happening there? So there's some miraging effect there. Again, not refraction. Unless refraction is used for every situation. I'm just going to walk to the other side of the deck here. It gets a bit more exciting. Because over here we've got Melbourne, and Melbourne's 30 kilometers away. Here we are, Melbourne. The buildings of Melbourne with their warning lights for aircraft. Very, very still.